Stuart and Dad's antelopes are in the freezer, so now it's my turn. We spotted this dandy after only about an hour of looking. He's probably, what, about 300 yards away, right in the center of the screen. We're going to try to do a stalk on him. Looks pretty good. Looks like a good one. Stuart and Dad stay back to keep an eye on this antelope as Ryan and I engineer a stalk. We decide to make a big loop and come in over the top of him. Of course, he gets up and moves as we are on our way towards him, so we have to adjust our plan. After he tops the ridge line, we quickly move in and close the distance. It's now or never. I couldn't tell where I hit, but as it turns out, my shot was about perfect. We're all excited because it's so dry this year and the animal are just, ha they're hammering the water holes while we get here and of course it's cold, you know, the weather's not right and they're really not watering. So we spot and stalk. You seen Stuart yesterday make a great shot at 60 yards on a beautiful buck and uh, then my dad this morning, he was all concerned and we were concerned because he can't, he's not really that mobile. Well, we finally found one at a great spot where he, I don't even think he had to walk maybe 50 yards and it came up over the top 40 yards, hit it in the spine, dropped it. We went, took care of his antelope, and we went out, spotted him, glassing and stalking, and we found this great uh, buck that I really wanted bad because he seemed like he was thick and he had high, his cutters were high, really wanted him. We watched him for about a couple hours, and he finally got into a spot. Ryan and I did the stalk. We didn't get much footage because we kind of came up on him quicker than what we thought, but it happened really fast. I made a 70 yard shot at him and I kept telling Ryan, make sure that you zoom out before you move the camera. Well, he got a little bit excited and actually as the arrow was in the air, he started zooming out so he couldn't really tell where I hit it, but it, so it felt good, it sounded good, it looked good, but geez, that antelope went a long ways. He probably went, you know, several hundred yards. We couldn't find blood, we couldn't find the arrow, we couldn't find anything. We just left it alone, went back, watched the footage on the TV, and there's no doubt I hit him. Uh, and so we came back and we went up on the other side and glassed down and we could see him land right here. So we're gonna go up and get him, but what a great uh, day. I can't wait to see him, I'm kind of excited. Let's do it, huh? Oh man, look at Ryan, look at this man. Oh man, oh. nice. <laughs> I told you, look at how high that cutter is on this side. Boy, he's got great length too, doesn't he? Yeah. Wow. Yep, he's good. I'm Turn sure. him sideways so we can see a little better of him. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ryan, he's a book. Yeah. I'm sure he's a book antelope. And look at, look at the shot. Look at where, where that, would, that would have been where it exited. Perfect. And he was quartering away, so a little bit. You had a different angle than I had when I was shooting, but... A1 Archery hunting 365, no off-season. A big thanks to the 4J Ranch, Bill Mankin, Ryan Rotier, Bruce Hudala for setting this up, and once again, another great hunt. And Ryan, thanks so much. One of the best in the business. Did a great job of finding antelope, doing the whole deal. Coming up with stock, it was pretty easy for me. All I had to do was do the shot, so uh, really appreciate it. Great ivory tips, nice prongs. Beautiful antelope. I am just absolutely ecstatic. The sun is going down over the horizon. What a great way to end the day. Congratulations to my dad on his, Stuart on his yesterday.